Welcome to Take 5, your 5-minute five inspirational message from Solid Rock Drogheda. Today's date is the 11th of September, 9-11 uh, as they measure it in the United States. Of course, on this side of the Atlantic we say the 11th of the 9th. But uh, obviously that's a date that means a lot to a lot of people, but for different reasons. Uh, when we talk about 9-11, we obviously think of 11th of September 2001. And many of us can remember where we were that day whenever that terrorist attack took place in New York. And for many people, particularly mo most immediately those involved in the tragedy and the terrorist attack itself, uh, their lives and their families' lives changed forever. But in, in a way, all of our lives did. I mean, if you get on a plane now, it's a very different thing. I, I, I can remember uh, before that day traveling by plane in the United States, and it was like getting a bus. You just sort of wandered into the airport through minimal security and wandered through to your gate. Now it's a very different thing, and we take all the airport security stuff for, for granted. And whole industries have grown up around the security that's been needed since September the 11th, 2001. Uh, in Drogheda... In our town of Drogheda, the 11th of September in 1649 was probably the most tragic day in the history of Drogheda, when it was the third day of Cromwell's siege, Oliver Cromwell's siege against Drogheda, and the day when the walls finally fell, and uh, Cromwell's army burst into Drogheda and slaughtered so many people, and we, we still have a street in Drogheda called Scarlet Street, because the blood flowed down the street that day. Again, a lot of people's lives and history was changed forever. It was on the 11th of September that my wife's grandmother died, uh, Bella McFarland, who was a great influence in our family. Now, she was 101 years old, but she was honestly the glue that held together so many distant strands of our family. And while people are still keeping trying to keep those connections open, it's been proven much harder because when Granny died, it changed the family forever. And there was another event that maybe might sound a bit trivial, but on the 11th of September 1916, a guy called Clarence Saunders opened a supermarket in Memphis in Tennessee. Uh, it was called the Piggly Wiggly Supermarket. And you might say, well, what's special about that? Well, actually, it changed all of our lives because it was the first ever supermarket. Because before then, people didn't, shop in a supermarket they didn't walk around picking up the things that they wanted you went into a store and you handed the store owner a list of what you wanted and he went to the shelves and got it all for you and bagged it up and then you paid him you know I can remember as a very young child shopping that way I, I can remember going into the grocery shop uh, in the street behind us and uh, Mr Hilliard there uh, Mr. Hilliard, uh, I always remembered him because uh, he was missing the ends of some of his fingers and one of his hands with an accident with a bacon slicer. And I, I always used to watch him slicing bacon, hoping I'd catch him doing it again, but he never did. But, uh, you know, I, I would go into there with, with my stepmother and uh, with a list of groceries and hand it to Mr. Hilliard or one of the assistants. And they would go around the shelves and get everything and put it in a bag and then you'd pay for the bag of groceries. But supermarkets now it took a while to reach ireland but supermarkets changed the way we shop forever and today all of us the way we buy our food everything is different because of clarence saunders and the piggly wiggly supermarket and by the way still operating still piggly wiggly supermarkets in over 600 locations in the united states but in different ways on this one day something happened that changed people's lives forever for in some ways some changed our lives for worse others changed our lives for better you know, today, what you do today for the Lord will change somebody's life. It might be somebody close to you. It might be a stranger you have the opportunity to speak to. Think about this and try and ensure that you change somebody's life for better. You know, it might be just a passing word. Is it going to be an unkind word that's going to change somebody's life in a bad way? Or is it going to be a word of encouragement? Or are you maybe going to tell somebody about Jesus that will change their life forever in the best possible way? Today, you have the opportunity to change somebody else's life and even your own life forever. Ask God to guide you so you can do it in a great way in Jesus' name. Have a great day today. God bless you. Join us again tomorrow for another Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drogheda.